So uh, this is the ref B of the board. This will be the last revision that I do. Ref B of the board. Uh, I don't think there was any changes over here. I did have to change the uh, biasing of the filter. I put in a current mirror and I've uh, been driving that. And I added a potentiometer to do a DC. And then there's a, a voltage controlled input also. So these are summed together into the... Uh, into the filter. Uh, I think most of the changes were on the actual PC board to uh, the right component uh, layout, the footprints and stuff, the correct footprints. So let's take a look at that. All right, let's uh, turn off that. Um, so things are looking pretty good. This is the filter area. I added the filter frequency adjust here, resonance over here. I added a cool little logo uh, <laughs> for my MSI guy. Um, a lot of the footprints I changed. I made new footprints for the um, potentiometers that I'm using. Uh, they were packed too close together, so these are the outline of the potentiometer that I'm using now. And some of the capacitors are these uh, radio lead ones, and I had them laid out as axial last time, so I changed some of those things. I can see it down here. This is a usually about a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, and over here is a 10 microfarad capacitor, so yeah, different package, package layouts. Uh, the noise source got fixed um, a while, while back. Uh, some people were asking me, how did I fix that? Let me show you that on the schematic. Oops, where can I... Synthesis is already open. Uh, I guess I have to push it down here. There we go. All right. Uh, so... When I breadboarded the circuit, I had R26 tied to 12 volts, and it worked just fine, uh, figuring that you just get this this uh, 10 microfarad capacitor just holds a constant voltage here. So having it, the original schematic actually had it tied to the collector, and it didn't make any sense to me, so I tied it to plus 12. I guess I should have tied it the other way. But anyway, uh, for some reason, it needs a little bit of feedback, I guess. There's a little bit of wiggly here, and it, I guess it gets through this capacitor. It, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, it works. <laughs> this schematic works. All right, we can go back to the, go back to the board. Um... I changed the layout of the power and ground, or ground is a, a is a, a, a copper pore on the top and the bottom, but uh, the plus and minus 12 are routed a little cleaner on this board, um, and they're nice 24, 24 mil thicknesses. I added a couple more bypass capacitors on things. Yeah, should be... Should be better, added a little more labeling to things. Anyway, like I said, this will be the last one I do. Hopefully it turns out not too bad. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get these built and wait for them in the mail. All right, I got uh, some boards in the mail today. Thank you, PCBWay. Um, these are uh, the last revision. I'm not gonna, even if there's an error on this board, I'm not gonna update it, I'll just post a, uh, I'll post an erratum or something like that. Uh, but this is a, a single board mini synth. It's just a noisemaker. Um, when I originally did this program, I was going to build the uh, Music of Outer Space noise toaster. And the noise toaster just made noises. And this is a lot fancier than the noise toaster. It has a lot more functionality and a lot more circuits that you would see maybe in a real synthesizer. Um, and but it is still kind of a noise to, noise uh, noise maker. It doesn't have uh, voltage controlled oscillators. It just has fixed tones and stuff. It's a, it's a one one chord at a time uh, noise maker. 
Um, but I think uh, for what I intended this for, my intention of this board wasn't to build a synthesizer. It was to have fun with some circuits and to teach op amps. So if you want to learn about uh, analog uh, circuit design and, and op amps used in strange ways, uh, this is, this is why, I, why I did this board. Uh, did you see my little logo up at the corner here? I don't know if the camera will focus on it, but I, I put a little MSI computer there in graphics. <laughs> um, so I'm starting to build the board. Uh, what I did was I uh, got out my, uh, my uh, desoldering tool and grabbed a whole bunch of parts off of this board. And I'm going to move them over to this board. So uh, that will be going next. So let me continue to work on this. So we'll turn it on and see how it works. All right. I'm working on about three projects at the same time. So... I hope this is uh, edited correctly, but uh, I have the whole board loaded now. Uh, so this is the new uh, Rev B board. And um, the only error so far is that um, I have a place where the, th the 3080 chip is and I have it swapped. I have it marked as, uh, I think I have it marked as this location. It really should be marked as this location, but that's the only error on the board so far. Um, so, um, people were, were questioning my biasing of the filter last time. Um, and I think there was an error on the PC board, but I already cut and jumped it. So it didn't factor in, but I wanted to redesign it. And I think I showed that already the way that I, uh, is that camera going to pick this up or is it blown out? Maybe that's a bit too, uh, let me turn it down a bit. I guess better. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have it pulled down to ground through a transistor and I have a current mirror. Yeah, I talked about this. I have a current mirror and everything. And so I have two diodes that gives me a 1.2 volt reference to bias the bases. Okay. So if I go measure the bases, is that in camera? No, it's not in camera. Let's uh, try to get this all in camera. Okay. So if I measure the bases, pins two and four, they're at 1.2 volts. Uh, four is at uh, 1.2 volts and pin three is the tail and it is at 0.6 volts. So um, we are good to go. We're biased correctly um, and everything seems to be okay there. Now, uh, all of the oscillators work. Okay, so I've tested, uh, whoa, you guys are going downhill. Um, I've tested all of the oscillators. So those work, the, the uh, uh, mixers work and the output uh, oscillator works. The uh, waveform thing works. I think I need a different, a different capacitor in here, but otherwise it works fine. The voltage controlled amplifier works fine. You push the button and it goes beep beep. Um, I also add a little jumper block. So instead of uh, pushing the button, you can just put the jumper block on and it holds the button down. So that's a new addition. Um, so everything works except for the filter. I'm still having problems with the filter. I don't know what's going on yet. Um, but uh, I certainly am getting a signal into the filter. I get a signal at the long tail. Uh, so I see, uh, I see current going up and down. And that should then relate to the other sections of the filter. And they seem to like die out. Um, they seem to be healthy at the bottom, but not at the top. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. I don't think so. Um, but anyway, um, I've seen other filters where they put in some other diodes in there to bring voltages down. So I don't know. I don't know if it's with, maybe it's out of range for my uh, A to D convert or my uh, uh, instrumentation amplifier. I don't know quite yet. But anyway, the whole board works good, except for the filter. Um, the other thing that doesn't work well, and that is a design error, is I have the ability to modulate the filter and the uh, the, amp the voltage called amplifier with the oscillators. The oscillators w w wiggle up and down around zero. And the way these circuits are, you really need to know positive voltages in order to zero to say zero to five volts to, to, to modulate those things. So there needs to be a level conversion and an offset conversion. Um, it seems as though that's a super big problem with these uh, 
oscillate or these um, synthesizer designs is that every single stage has its own kind of rules. It has its own input voltages and output voltages. And then the next stage needs its input voltages and output voltages. And then if you want to use one from one idea into another and another idea, the voltages might not quite match. And so you're always kind of fighting, can you actually patch everything the way that you want to patch it? Um, or or not. So anyway, let me get an idea that it does it does make some noise because that's what it's meant to do is make noise. So let's uh, let's put this here. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. Let's see if we can put some jumpers on here. I'll pull out these little header blocks. And ooh, geez, somebody's hot. Who's hot? Oh, maybe I just. Maybe I just scared myself something was sharp. Yeah, um, here we go. So I'm gonna take the output of the mixers and I'm gonna run that into the amplifier. There we go. So that's a single tone. There's two tones. Here's three tones. And then if I take the jumper off, I'm going to send this into the voltage controlled amplifier and I'm going to send that output of that to the uh, amplifier and I'll push the button. It works. Whoa. Um, so that's good to go. I can also mo modulate the voltage controlled amplifier. Can you hear that? That sort of works. Envelope works. Whoa. Um, so yeah, everything's going pretty good, except for the filter, again. <laughs> Noise source works. Um, everything works except the filter. So I just need to spend more time figuring out what is it that I don't understand about the filter and why can't I get these darn filters to work uh, correctly? Um, they might be very susceptible to matching of components. Um, I don't know yet. So anyway, uh, this board is at a point where I'm going to go ahead and put it on my share site at PCBWay. If somebody wants to get this board just to play with it, it's not a complete project. It's not a perfect project, uh, but it gives you some of the building blocks that allows you to cut and jump and hack and do your own thing. Um, so anyway, there you go.